In our work, we develop a novel approach for creating triangulation-like curtains of arbitrary shape. To start, you might ask, what exactly is a triangulation-like curtain? Well, these systems aim to selectively image a particular 3D region of space while ignoring everything else in the scene. To illustrate this idea, we can use the system developed in our work and selectively image just the surface of a teapot, resulting in images where the light from every other part of the scene is optically blocked. These light curtains are robust to scattering and offer a level of privacy completely optically, making them a powerful tool in the real world. For example, such devices are being explored in the context of autonomous striving for collision avoidance to identify when objects get too close for comfort. Such a setup can be created by using a rolling shutter camera combined with some sort of light projection system. In short, every row of a rolling shutter camera captures a different slice of the scene at a different time. If we synchronize a projector with this camera, we can illuminate a different pattern for each individual row of the rolling shutter. It is this spatial temporally varying illumination that forms the light curtain. Objects that intersect this light curtain will be visible to the rolling shutter camera, while objects that don't will be too dark to be seen. Such a system requires that the projector is fast, programmable, and light efficient. However, existing techniques don't really satisfy all of these requirements, so we turn to a holographic approach. In particular, if we combine a binary digital micromirror device with the Fourier transforming properties of a lens under laser light, we can build a projector that is fast, programmable, and light efficient. With this system, we can create complex light curtains that were impossible for previous approaches. This may enable new applications for light curtains, such as in human-facing robot safety, creating touch interfaces from arbitrary objects, and measuring scene disturbances. Thanks for listening, and please come to our poster for more details.